And welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm on Inspiration 10. Now you've probably used Inspiration 9. This is an update. There's some nice little tweaks on here. Now I'm going to go into depth in this. I just want to get you up and running quickly. Okay, so let's get stuck right in. So we've got options here. Diagram, outline and map. Now I always find diagram better. It gives you more flexibility. But map's got its own uses as well. I think it's a bit more rigid. But it does get you up and running quicker. And then we've got outline view, we can do everything in linear format. Before we start, my mapping. Whatever you create visually here, you can still get your output in linear format. So remember that. So let's just start with diagram. And let's pop in a subject there. So I'm just going to put anything random in health. Now before I carry on, you might be sitting there, you need to do an assignment or essay. You need to brainstorm some ideas down first. No particular order. So come up the top here. Select that rapid fire option, tap once. Then you don't need to use the trackpad or mouse for a while, just type your ideas in, then click the enter key on the keyboard. So I'm going to put in There you go, I've brainstormed a few ideas down. Let's just imagine what's going on in your head. They're kind of there, but all over the place. Now, start dragging them into order. So I'm going to put mental health first, so work clockwise. I'm going to put exercise second. I think diet's more important than exercise as well, which well, is just as important, not more important. So I'll sort that in a minute, and then obviously smoking. So they're all really important first. They're all really important, should be first anyway, but see how we can work with this. So we've got the main idea, health. Then you could come down to another option. I go to the second one and you say, right, I need to brainstorm off of that. Again, set the rapid fire button and just brainstorm a couple of ideas. Remember, click the enter key. And the enter key again. So there you go, drag them into position again. Remember to try, always keep that clockwise option. So you know where you're at. But it can be a bit of a struggle to see which is your main idea. So I could click health. Come up here. You've got your little clip art option. I could just type health in there. And then I could replace the middle one with one of these. I just put that as a, an option. But you can copy and paste external images into your maps. It's great for revision maps as well. But the other thing bugging me is I want to change the colour of these. Because they're a separate topic. So if I highlight them all. Choose the middle option and choose the colour you want. Let's go for that colour. And if you come to the right, you can even do the outline colour there if you want as well. And it also changes the links between them. Quick point here. If you tap on the links between them, you see a little box appears. You could type in what the relationship is between those ideas and topics. Or do a right click. And they've got some linking phrases here as well. If I come back down here, they've got a nice little list so you can do one as well. Quick, So you can do a linking phrase quickly. So let's just put exercise supports resistance training. So from a simple idea in your head, you've got a few down, you've now organised them and colour coded them. And even added an image. Now there's an important thing I want to show you with this before you carry on. That's in visual view. Now if you come up top left, we're now going to look what it looks like in linear format. So we've got health, smoking, diet, exercise. Health, smoking, diet it's all over the place can you see it's not supported mental health should be my first idea then it should be exercise have a look again and it isn't so what you do is you use what's called a sync button so if I sync it in here you can see now it's all synced so if I go back we should have mental health we should have health then mental health and exercise there we go health mental health and the exercise broken down to subcategories. So every time you move something around, for example, if I move that down and then I move them all up, have a look, it's not changed. So make sure you use the sync button and that way you always know how you're working in visual and linear format. So this is a quick map, ideas down, we've added nothing to it. Now you look at it and go, right, resistance training, I need to add data into there. Easily done. Select a note. Drag the note where you want. It will open up wherever you drag it. That will do lovely. Actually, I'm not happy with that colour. So if I come down the middle, 
I can choose a colour there quickly and even do the outline colour here look. I might go for another bit of green and then I could type a note regarding resistance training always good to keep a good balance between resistance and cardio there you go now if I close the note there it is open it up and you can open up the note whenever you want to carry on working on it so if I actually go to outline now let's have a look can you see the resistance training I've now got my note underneath and if I actually do a right click on the word that I spelt wrong it corrects it for me as well so it keeps you flowing on what you're looking at go back to diagram let's close that note now look at that again and you say to yourself all's fine but really I want to add some links to websites and information as I build up my ideas no problem we'll stick with resistance training open up your browser any browser you want right let's have a look for something shall we so I'm looking for just do a general search I'm not going to go to JSTOR or any research site just quick look that would do I want to use this website so I'm going to copy the link at the top and with that link you want to paste it in there but I wouldn't because it get messy with the hyperlinks so with the one you want to add it to highlight it to the hyperlink button tap on it make sure it's on website and paste at the bottom make sure you get rid of the one that's already highlighted by pasting over it HTTP otherwise you'd have two of them and the link won't work and click OK there you go got a blue hyperlink so if I tap on it it brings up that source for you and what you could do actually in that website we've added a note already if I come down say you find something you want to use within your research I'm going to highlight it control C and now what I could do here I could create another little branch off of there now watch Instead of brainstorming, come up to the create button and if you hover around you can choose which direction you want to create one. So I'm going to make that one o'clock again. Tap in there and then control V. I could have the whole note in there if you want to see it visually. But if you don't, click delete or backspace. Create one off of there again. And just call that. Obviously you can give it a proper name. I'll put website note and to keep everything tidy tap on it and always add a text note and then I could paste control V and use that little arrow here so it always shows up all the text drag it where you want and close it so now I've got my website link here a note general about resistance training but I've added more in-depth information for sources that I want to use and again remember, remember you can tap on it don't forget to use your colouring if you want down here to colour code stuff so that's adding notes on websites if I click on resistance training and I'm going to come up here and keep that clockwise and add another little branch so you've got something on your computer so I'll just put remember you can use this on the Mac it's pretty similar on the Mac as it is on the PC there's hardly any differences so again I can attach anything on my laptop so if I attach a PowerPoint uh, Excel PDF they'll all open up in their own application so there's no limit on what you can attach really so if I come up the top hyperlink but this time file I'll select any files a demonstration for you but if you can't see everything that will tip here see underneath here make sure you've selected all files it won't show all your files otherwise so I think I'll show it on my desktop so I just I can add there there we go, I've got a PowerPoint. If I add that as a demonstration, click OK. Again, it's hyperlink blue, so if I tap on it, it'll bring up that PowerPoint and whatever file I attach to it. So you can see it's really good for revision as well. And close that. Click continuity, and you're going to come down and change that colour as well. Perfect. So there's a quick way of building up information. Now, just a little point about this on the left symbols option. If you click libraries, and basic they've got loads of little options here like thinking clip art arrows and stuff or different shapes maybe you want a flow chart or idea boxes so go around then they've got loads of different options you can work with as well if I come here 
And maybe I just want to create a little branch anywhere on its own. I can do that as well. And then I might want to pop in another idea that's not quite relevant to my map yet. So I just pop lifestyle in. Lifestyle. And as I add information, I might want to then link it to my map. Well, easily done. So I want to link it to health as a whole. You can see these little links in the middle. Hover over them, hold the left button and drag onto where we want to connect it to. And there you go, it's connected and you can still type in the box again if you want what the linking phrase is as well. Now I won't go more into this because I want to transfer it quick so it's just a short quick map to get you up and running. If you click on the link and then do a right click, it gives you all these options so you can change straight arrows, right arrow, right angles, single curves, arrow directions, arrow heads, you can change the fonts, line thickness, you can make it thicker if you wish, dash line, line colour, you might want that line more of a, a ready colour as you can see here. So do a right click all your settings quickly for formatting. Right, just check first, always check, go to outline, I want to make sure it's synced, so click the sync button. Right, is that looking good? I think so. So now I'm going to send it to Microsoft Word. You can send it to wherever you want. You can send it to PowerPoint PDFs. I'll show you that in a minute. But I'm going to untick there so I can get rid of sending the map. So if it's an essay or assignment, you might want the map in a Word document for your own reference, but you might want to delete it if you want to then send it. So I'll leave that on. Also, prefixes you can get rid of. You can see a little picture and indents. So I'm going to select OK. It always makes you save the inspiration map before you export it. Select save. So there's my map at the top there. Now if I scroll down, there's all my information that I've structured within the visual map. So I've got all my research all organized. And the benefit as well, if I actually hover over these links, so I could hold control down and actually open up those links from websites or even that PowerPoint attachment I put on earlier. So that's one quick option for getting visual maps into linear. I did say you could export in a couple of ways. If you go to file, you can export to PowerPoint there or transfer to your word processor as Microsoft Word. But if you select export, click top down, which click export. If you prefer to use Office, you've got the open Office option there as well. You can send it to web pages, upload it to one of your website servers. You've got JPEG, which is really compressed, and then you go to PNG, which gives you more, gives you compressed, but also gives you the option of transparency, I believe, with this ticked as well. So there you go. Remember to go to File, File, Save as when you're finished.